What's going on guys, Philip at Trade Genius. Today is the CME Futures expiration for Bitcoin. And this is one of their longer contracts uh, started uh, at the beginning of April and expires today. So there's usually some volatility around this stuff. We're gonna talk about how that's gonna affect Bitcoin and what we expect will happen in the days coming ahead. All right guys, let's dive into this video. Also, quick reminder, we are running our specials on our software and also our bundle. So if you want to get in the room with us and get in on all those ETF, binary option, and crypto trades, um, you can get this fall special. Or if you're interested in our moneymaker indicator, which a lot of guys are hitting those alts on the 15 minute charts right now, uh, you can get the moneymaker 40% off using the fall code. All right, guys, let's dive into this video. Trade genius. All right, guys, so quick video today. Um, the ex futures expirations expire 3 p.m. Eastern. Now, typically what we expect is the price tends to pivot uh, around these uh, expiration dates. So because we've come down, I'd expect within the next 24 to 48 hours, we actually get a move up. Um, I don't expect it to go real high. I think the probability is that we test probably... Uh, this area over here. So on most exchanges, I would look for about 8,400 or so. But as you can see with previous expirations, we kind of fade whatever move we make into the expiration. So this was last month. Expirations are the last Friday of the month. Move down, pivot up, move down, pivot up. Sometimes you, sometimes the, the move happens a day or two after the expiration. Uh, here you can see we moved up into expiration and intend to pivot down on that. So uh, expect the actually probabilities of this to actually be up. You know, we've, the 7,800 to 8,000 level is actually an area of congestion and support. So would not be surprised to see a bounce up there. But again, I'm not convinced that's the total bottom for this down move. Uh, again, I think anywhere in this 7, 8,000 area is decent for getting long for, you know, longer term swing stuff. Or if you're just accumulating Bitcoin, I think this is decent because we've had a over 40% pullback, which is usually high high returns at this stage of the game so just wanted you guys to be aware if you see any kind of like darth maul candles where you get big wicks you know or you see some kind of volatile moves today just keep in mind that the cme expiration might have something to do with that and some of the other exchanges crypto exchanges uh like deribit they have options on bitcoin and things like that that are expiring today as well so sometimes those option expirations affect hedging positions and can create some volatility so i just want you guys to have a heads up on that as well as understand that last Friday of every month is a CME futures expiration and we can see price swings around those areas. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please hit like and subscribe. It really helps out our channel. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Trade Genius.